Essentials. Caffeine and booze. For someone who is so bad at stuff, I've like picked hobbies that Man, a lot of like have just a, a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of stuff in there. And that's why my room is always 0.5 seconds because I get like really excited and then my whole world explodes and the room is a giant. And I'm like, oh shit, everything's awesome. I'm Jumper. I run Camp Bring a Pheromone and I'm Black Ahead of Burning Man. How much of the work you've been doing in the past a couple months has been just this? All, all of it. I was, I was in like startup business mode and then I really decided to do this thing in June or so, and that has been, it really has been my whole life since then. And being so bad at multitasking, I'm just jealous of people who can multitask. It's, uh, it's been a lot of really satisfying work. Uh, also, I'm so, Social is such a hard thing for me, and the the having this having this small group of people that that like I can't like on Facebook I don't want to post a whole bunch like some people they just post all the time and they have four hundred people that give a shit I just I need I need twelve people that I can be excited about and be like oh let's let's get these scratch and sniffs and put it on the back of the thing and have other people be excited about it and. Uh, so it's been the right size, the right kind of, I don't know, it's, it is, it has been more satisfying than I really expected it to be. This, this is a, an inexpensive Chinese controller for LEDs. Uh, it comes with this really pretty looking IR remote control. I have a few fades and whatever else. And they're insanely, insanely cheap uh, and they're great, except the software on them is really crappy. Uh, so what I'm doing is basically just using their really cheap electronics. I am putting onto my own little microcontroller, which has software that I wrote, that can then read from the same remote control and control the lights in the way that I want them to. So that means I have more control about like how it fades and uh, you know limited ranges and just a whole a whole bunch more control over what's actually happening because it's my code as opposed to theirs where half the buttons on the remote don't work and it's not reliable at all. Armpits came organically <laughs> into our lives um, and. Um, once you, it's it's this perfect, it's it's this perfect. You have to be close enough and boundary. It's like this weird boundary that some people will cross and other people won't. And when you have this really close group of friends, or you have these romantic romantic interests that you can just like walk up to somebody in a club and smell their armpit and go on with your life. Um, it's it's liberating and free and fun, so we, I, I feel like we just have that group of friends, and the, like, the freedom of that thing, I was like, oh, we need to, I want to, we need to do something with this, and that's, I mean, you can only have an armpit smelling booth, um, and, and, I just kind of, just kind of came from that, and then, it's funny, once you, once you pick a thing, like, I'm now the armpit guy, <laughs> like, <laughs> There are lots of people that could be the armpit guy, but now I'm the armpit guy. Surprising how few people know everything's hard. Like, even makers, we just forget. And then you like hang out in maker space and people are like, this is the dumbest thing. Why isn't this working? It's like, cause every, everything's hard. Because everything's hard, I spend like almost all of my life failing. It's just nice to have people that care and that you can share the thing with. And out there, it might be different because there's a, you know, someone like Andy. He's this like conceptual, art brain, wonderful, performative human being. And when it comes to actually, like I, 
I run the pheromone booth and I have a shtick and I like can guide people through the thing, but I'm not really a public art. I'm not a performance artist. Like I don't, I don't know that I like people that much. And <laughs> so, so having some of these, some other people come in and you know guide people through the the scent sommelier experience uh, will probably probably get better. Uh, probably there will be iterative improvements as the thing goes along. Um, and we're going to totally take down the Costco soulmate trading network with our scent based uh, scent, scent based dating. It's going to work. I put lights on my bike because uh, everyone kind of does at Burning Man. But uh, I like to have mine be custom in mind because I want to have as many things at this event be custom in mind as possible. Even if you go back to the dumb strip controller, probably works just fine if I just use the one off the shelf. But I like feel better if everything that goes into my camp is is is, is hacked in some way, or or I like I can say, oh, I did that because uh, it's such a participatory thing that I. I, I like to have my hand in so many, so many of it, so much of it. The, so yeah, so the bike lights are just a different way of expressing that. And then also when I take my backpack speaker out there and make my own little cycle mounted art car thing, I look pretty cool and can get a whole swarm of 12 or 14 bikes following me around listening to the music that I want to listen to as opposed to the crappy music that everybody else is listening to. do my thing. Go ahead, go ahead. I want to get into it, man, you know. Go ahead. Like a like a sex machine, man. Go ahead. Moving, go ahead. Do doing it, it, you know. Yeah.